Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, I am uh, Mike Kagansky, and uh, today uh, I wanted to uh, present something not very technical, uh, not very uh, deep, just uh, some uh, fast uh, rewind and uh, fast forward uh, over the what I accomplished during the last year. Uh, first of all, uh, who am I? Uh, uh, I work for Collabora, uh, mostly on uh, core part. Uh, so uh, I, I work on uh, improving LibreOffice and Collabora Office uh, uh, desktop solution. Uh, pre previously, I was a system administrator before joining Collabora, and I was so happy uh, to be noticed and uh, I'm glad uh, to be part of the team. Uh, what, uh, first of all, and the largest part of my uh, presentation would be just uh, a discussion of commits. Uh, what kind of commits uh, were uh, pushed during the year that passed since the last uh, con LibreOffice conference. So, well, I am proud to have a rather large count of commits. Uh, oh, Colin uh, joined, so he will laugh. <laughs> I, I see. But, uh, well, uh, anyway. Uh, and uh, so, uh, these commits fall into several categories, uh, bug fixes, build fixes, optimizations. And, well, uh, I hope that uh, overall uh, everything we do, uh, everything uh, developers do, improves the pr product. Uh, so, um, of those uh, commits, more than 100 uh, references, uh, some TDF, Bugzilla, uh, issues. Uh, uh, there are lots of them and uh, so I can s uh, say that many uh, things uh, are direct response to uh, requests from users uh, because, well, Bugzilla is about that. Uh, getting requests and uh, tracking its uh, implementation. The first thing I wanted to tell is that I can, I have discovered the true meaning of LibreOffice conferences. Uh, you are told that it is a community building, that it is uh, some kind of uh, blah, 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 but actually it is just to improve impress. Every year uh, the developers that uh, pre prepare their slides uh, fix bugs that prevents their slides. Uh, and so I can tell that the first thing that I did uh, last year after uh, coming from the conference was fixing the bug that uh, uh, hit me there. Uh, and now I'm sure that uh, even though uh, I prepared this especially boring uh, uh, presentation, at least my uh, system won't sleep uh, during it. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, and it shows uh, actually how important it is for a developer to uh, actually use not only uh, run, not only reproduce something, but also use for real uh, the pro product that uh, we create. Uh, because, well, it uh, becomes, uh, y you start to feel uh, users' pain. <laughs> and, well, uh, fix uh, something that, uh, mm, uh, scratching your own itch, which is very important. Yeah, and to uh, conclude uh, the uh, topic of impress, uh, there are some other uh, bug fixes here. Um, uh, they, uh, there are there were crashes. Uh, there were uh, wrong uh, chart colors on uh, slides, uh, wrong sizes of images. So uh, different kinds of uh, bugs. Uh, 
but not that many this year. I didn't uh, actually focus on uh, impress. Uh, the next one is uh, shows the other aspect that I didn't really focus much uh, over this uh, past year is it is calc uh, bug fixes. Uh, only six of them, uh, and also uh, one of them is just my own regression, so shouldn't count as an achievement, of course. Uh, so uh, the, uh, here comes the mind part. I focused on mostly on writer uh, specific problems during the year, and writer specific problems also fall into several categories. Uh, first one is uh, the general ODF uh, user interface, uh, uh, but uh, writer-specific user interface. Sorry, sorry, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, and uh, there, are, there were uh, quite a lot of such improvements. Uh, they. Uh, Again, uh, bug, uh, crashes uh, happen and uh, were fixed. Uh, some uh, performance improvement uh, and well, uh, fixing uh, behavior of uh, different user uh, uh, functions uh, such as searches, uh, such as selection, uh, everything like, the, uh, like that. Uh, so you see, uh, there are several. Um, uh, slides uh, listing these uh, fixes. But then comes uh, even bigger topic. Uh, there were already talk about interoperability. It is really an important part. And uh, I played some role in improving this uh, topic in the field of uh, DOCX uh, compatibility. You, you might notice that uh, it is all about bug fixing, not uh, actually creation of uh, new features, but this is what possibly and usually I like most. I, <laughs> I must confess that I more like to fix bugs than to implement new features. Uh, so, yes. Uh, uh, Sometimes I hear uh, 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 an idea that we should uh, focus on, uh, should not focus on interoperability. We sh uh, like we should just uh, Im uh, improve ODF and don't care about people who try to use, uh, to export to other formats on the grounds that it will never be uh, really uh, 100% perfect and so on, but I really disagree. We all learn uh, foreign languages. We communicate with people and uh, sharing documents is uh, just a way of communication. If we don't allow people to communicate in different uh, uh, languages uh, like file formats, it, it is not a real uh, freedom, a real, uh, f re real uh, help to our users. So, well, I, I feel that uh, creating, uh, improving interoperability is one of the most important uh, topics in LibreOffice future. So, uh, well, uh, uh, these uh, section of Compatibility fixes uh, is the biggest one, so you can see this list uh, with, without uh, paying attention to the contents. Uh, but, well, uh, I wanted to uh, say that one of the uh, biggest problem, problems that uh, I faced was uh, uh, mapping uh, word uh, styles to writer styles uh, back and forth. And uh, we made quite some improvements here because it made uh, sometimes uh, it, it makes a very strange appearance of a document. Uh, absolutely unclear why some parts of uh, imported or exported documents suddenly becomes italicized or something like that. Well, uh, we 
handled, I handled uh, a bit of these problems. Uh, well, uh, and uh, there was a, a work on table of contents, uh, compatibility fixes. Uh, parts of text were not showing uh, at all uh, uh, as if it was outside of paper while it was not. So uh, very many uh, edge cases appear and uh, people uh, file bugs and we uh, uh, fix them. Uh, by the way, what I wanted also to also tell is Many users complain that uh, developers are obsessed with uh, uh, creating something new, but we do uh, file bugs uh, in large scale. Uh, so uh, the docx compatibility fixes continue, and uh, this uh, slide uh, lists uh, other bugs, but one of them is also dear to my heart. Uh, it was uh, in, in, uh, in Word, uh, there are many, uh, many, also many levels of formatting, and they do not map one to one to writers. And uh, we needed uh, ways to represent this formatting uh, and uh, coming from tables. And uh, this was a rather interesting uh, engineering task. Uh, how to do that? Hopefully, I uh, made it. Uh, in a useful way, uh, again, because uh, there is no one-to-one -one mapping, we needed some uh, creative workarounds. Uh, of course, uh, as uh, with any such uh, thing, uh, I expect <laughs> regressions, unfortunately, but no, no, no fix without a regression. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, this uh, concluded the docx uh, fixes that I uh, made, but there was another file format that I worked quite a lot during this year. It was HTML and, by the way, a, a specific flavor of XML, uh, which is implemented in the same filter. And we uh, improved uh, the correctness of generated HTML in some cases, like in lists, in tables. So there were uh, edge cases when, for instance, the table was the first, uh, um, inner table was the first element in the outer table, and it uh, got lost uh, with the export, with import, and so on. So uh, I hope that uh, after this past year, our exported HTML and uh, uh, XML will be much more correct. Uh, so uh, uh, also there was some uh, PDF uh, fix, uh, hopefully uh, less uh, page scaling problems will appear. But, uh, mm, uh, okay. And uh, now uh, the writer section was done. Uh, let's uh, move to the uh, API and uh, scripting uh, fixes. It is used a lot in, uh, uh, if you uh, open our uh, uh, forums or ask site, you will see, I uh, estimate about a third uh, of all um, questions are about scripting. And uh, so uh, improving impro improvements in this uh, area definitely benefit the community. You might, uh, might also see how many uh, bugs uh, are there in the bug tracker about that. So, uh, fixing them, uh, those uh, TDF, uh, in TDF Bugzilla, uh, I believe, is also important. We uh, optimized some processing which took ages uh, to complete. Uh, we uh, corrected use of URLs. We have uh, our internal URL uh, um, uh, schemes. 
and uh, in sometimes uh, the API uh, not uh, related to basic but our uh, UNO API were uh, implemented simply wrong so they were uh, also improved in many cases uh, here it uh, continues and uh, so uh, I suppose about 40 bucks uh, in uh, general were fixed uh, in the basic uh, and uh, API area by myself. Uh, and uh, let's uh, proceed to UI bug fixes. Uh, this is a rather problematic uh, area because in UI there is even less uh, uh, agreement among users what's correct. So it is more of an art than <laughs> of a science. Uh, well, uh, still, uh, since uh, it, it, it was bug fixing, it was simpler to me. Restoring some lost uh, things, uh, uh, for instance, the tooltips in uh, toolbars were lost since a decade ago, and nobody noticed it until recently. Uh, well, uh, it is restored. Uh, possibly not that important because it was so, uh, but still. Uh, some uh, problems uh, created recently were also rectified, like uh, improper uh, application of uh, uh, favorites uh, in special character dialogue uh, and so on. Uh, uh, there was a regression related to uh, decimals in uh, font size field that also uh, were uh, fixed uh, in the UI section. Uh, and uh, there were also ruler uh, problems, ru ruler related problems and autosave configuration. Uh, I believe the autosave is a hot topic and uh, Justin works uh, a lot on that. Uh, I hope that uh, the next uh, 24.2 uh, version would, would uh, make many users happy, much more happy than today with the uh, automatic save feature. Uh, in some uh, sense, it was really broken uh, until recently. And continue, uh, continuing uh, the UI section, uh, oh, somehow I feel responsible for one specific uh, topic here. It is about uh, a warning that Java is needed and it is not. For some years already I fix uh, new and new uh, cases and I hope that I fixed it already like three years ago, but users are very inventive finding other uh, situations when this uh, wrong uh, dialogue appears. So <laughs> fixing that uh, was my, uh, one of my, uh, my fixes. This small uh, slide is about Windows specific uh, tasks uh, and since I use Windows I uh, think I know uh, something about Windows API and the specifics. Uh, I often uh, am asked to fix uh, these things like uh, Unicode support which is done differently on Windows or, uh, compared to how we do it on Linux or uh, how paths are hand, uh, handled there, which is also done differently. The problematic thing here is that many problems here come not from LibreOffice itself, but from external modules uh, used by LibreOffice. And that part might be very hard to fix uh, when uh, they um, rely on uh, basic C++ uh, routines, uh, streams and so on, which are 
not uh, really fit uh, for the Windows specific Unicode uh, support and so on. Uh, so sometimes instead of a real fix, I have to work around deficiencies, like in uh, the old unmaintained Lucene uh, library, which I recently had to uh, patch uh, to only prevent uh, crashes uh, in it, uh, uh, caused by uh, two long paths not supported by uh, the root methods, it, it functions it uses. And uh, some quite sizable part of uh, my work in this uh, year was uh, fixing and improving uh, the feature that Collabora has introduced recently. It is a native language tool integration. As a new feature, it is expected to have some rough edges, and uh, indeed they were, uh, but uh, they were not that bad. Uh, and uh, my uh, part here was to make it more smooth. Uh, for instance, uh, the uh, language tool integration provides some specific uh, language versions like Spanish, Ar Argentina uh, flavor, but also uh, generic like Spanish, uh, simply Spanish. And uh, the problem was that uh, in uh, when someone had a language like uh, Spanish Bolivia, uh, it wasn't uh, checked by uh, the uh, integration. Uh, we uh, improved that, so now uh, generic fallback works correctly in this case, and um, uh, hopefully it would improve the experience, user experience. Uh, also, we rectified some URL um, uh, uh, handling and uh, passing of the Unicode uh, characters some, in some uh, edge cases uh, and uh, improved some user interface, uh, added uh, some tips, uh, explanations and so on, so uh, users will also uh, have uh, easier time understanding how to configure uh, language to integration. Uh, now we finally uh, arrived to the section of new features. Uh, if you ask a developer which feature is the most important, which features are the most important in a new release, every developer knows that it is indeed the features that uh, the developer uh, implemented uh, themselves. But uh, even then, uh, trying to find which of those is number one is uh, usually a difficult task. I solved this task this year. I only implemented one feature, so I can easily tell which feature in the new version will be the most important one. It is uh, the um, legal numbering, uh, which is, uh, did you hear about it? Uh, don't you know this most important feature of all time? <laughs> well, it is, it is important for inter interoperability and, uh, well, uh, it is implemented in the upcoming 24.2. Uh, so, here it is. Uh, Oh, I need to hurry up, I'm sorry. So, uh, a short uh, discussion about build fixes. We have a uh, CI uh, in infrastructure, uh, indeed, but still sometimes uh, there are cases when some platforms are not tested. Indeed, the Windows uh, 64 bits is very uh, esoteric, esoteric uh, platform which is not tested in our CI, so sometimes breaks. Sometimes, uh, uh, there are uh, conflicts and so part of my fixes were about uh, build fixing. And uh, there was quite some effort in code simplification and refactor. It could seem uh, unimportant, but you know, sometimes you just can't 
make sense of the code until you refactor it somehow. So it helps uh, to it helps yourself. So I just need to refactor and then start uh, debugging. It helps to others. It helps to newcomers uh, who would uh, uh, be able to easy, easier understand what goes on. I hope that my refactors uh, don't mean that someone else next will need to re-refactor back to <laughs> <laughs> so my changes make sense, but still, there, there were quite some uh, commits here. And uh, now le uh, I wanted to uh, stop talking about the commits and uh, uh, say a couple of words, word, words about forums. Um, uh, we, uh, I started with the need to use the software to feel the user's pain. And uh, I also feel it's important for developers to visit uh, user forums to read them. Not only bug tracker, which uh, uh, gives a structured overview of a problem, but sometimes users just can't, can't uh, present their problems uh, constru um, struct uh, structured way. So you just need to uh, come, uh, come to the forum, read, and try to uh, see what is the most pressing, pressing thing. For me, uh, personally, the most pressing thing now in the project would be the uh, problem that we uh, often, currently we often corrupt documents uh, because of in uh, um, not, not ideal export of uh, OXML, uh, which prevents user from opening them again. This is not ideal for the image of the um, LibreOffice, in my opinion. Uh, and j just a few words about one uh, very uh, important topic. Who can... Ah, uh, developers here, so uh, surely you know how this uh, essential uh, developer tool is called. Uh, the rubber duck is uh, our friend. And what uh, happened to me many times over all the years, but most often during this last year was how often creating commit message uh, turned out to be the best rubber duck uh, helping me to understand that when I created a bug fix, when I uh, finished it, when I clean it up and I start to write something explaining what, what the problem was, and what uh, I needed to, f why it was that, and what I needed to fix, and how I did it. Suddenly, I realized that I did it wrong. Just I, I just to throw it away and start from scratch. And if I didn't write it, I wouldn't realize that I uh, created it uh, in, a, in the wrong way. I, I was really happy about that. It wasn't like anger. Oh, it, it is. Rather, it was an exciting uh, thing that I was able to catch it and uh, fix it myself. So, uh, good commit messages is your good uh, rubber duck friend. Uh, please uh, create good... Uh, I, I am really uh, excited uh, to follow the, the commit messaging of uh, Armin, Stefan, uh, Miklos. Uh, they uh, create... I hope uh, I'm uh, the fourth. <laughs> so, uh, writing commit messages, good commit messages is a very important thing. So, uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, attention. Uh, this is all from me for today. <laughs>